Welcome to Christina's Kitchen. I'm Christina McFeeders. Today we're going to explore one of my favorite ways to incorporate ginger into my diet. Ginger is a root that grows and it is a spice that's commonly used in a lot of things. We find it in cookies, curries, and many other uh, ingredients. You can also get dried ginger called crystallized ginger. You can also get ginger powder in your spice section in the grocery store. And then if you go to a health food store or a specialty store, you can get ginger capsules and you can also get ginger tea. Today, we are going to use fresh ginger to make some amazing apricot ginger energy bites. To start out, you will need a food processor. You will notice this is a very small food processor and so I'm giving you a small recipe. Uh, if your food processor is larger, you can increase the recipe. It's very simple. You will need a quarter cup packed with pitted dates, a quarter cup packed with dried apricots, a quarter cup of almonds, and a quarter cup of unsweetened shredded coconut. Now we will add our fresh ginger. And to do that, I'm just gonna peel a little bit of the outside and we are going to grate it, uh, shred it, you might say. Ginger, when it's fresh, is very fibrous, has long strings in it. So you don't wanna just throw in a chunk of ginger. We're gonna use the small grater. And we don't need very much in this recipe because it's a small recipe, we just need a quarter teaspoon. There we have a quarter teaspoon of fresh grated ginger. And if you like lots of ginger, you can use up to a half teaspoon of fresh ginger. A quarter teaspoon just gives it a kick. A half teaspoon is going to give it a stronger ginger flavor. So now the last thing is I like to just put a pinch of salt in. Doesn't take very much. And then we are grinding this until it's very not completely smooth, but until it's got small chunks. Then uh, after it's done grinding, we'll add just a little bit of water to hold it together. Now we're going to add about a tablespoon of water just to help moisten it so the balls will stick together. And we'll mix that up. Okay, we're done. We're gonna pour this into our bowl. Now we're gonna make the balls. We're gonna form them. And this is so much fun, especially if you have kids. Get them involved, rolling them out. Chances are they will probably eat them before they put them on the plate and that's perfectly fine. You can refrigerate them afterwards. You can put them in the freezer for longer storage. You can eat them right away or whatever you want to do with them. See how simple that is? And just think, you're adding amazing anti-inflammatory, nutritious, delicious food to your diet. Be sure to try this at home.